Welcome back to Santa Pollo, my friend. To what do I owe this unexpected? Carolina, is that you? How can this be? Rodrigo, <laughs> you have not changed at all. I have become a pirate, like our friend here. I tried so hard to find you. Why have you come back now? Listen to me, my love. All our prayers are answered. Our friend here has secured my father's blessing from beyond the grave. This is amazing. So you still wish to be married, my love? Of course. My dear friend, I do not know what to say. Give me a moment with my bride-to-be. Go tell Friar Clock that soon he shall marry us. Capitan. Don Rodrigo is to be married? Oh, this is wonderful. All of Santa Pollo will rejoice at this news. I must say, I have been expecting you. There is someone who wants very much to talk to you, my friend. You will find him inside. A fear take once that's done, speak with Raven Eyes, the tribal elder. You have brought me peace, pirate, and I thank you. Now I can help you in your search. I fought many battles against Captain Blood and finally defeated him, but I never found his lair. This map you seek, I have never seen it. In my final battle with the Dread Pirate, Blood's own crew betrayed him. They sailed with Blood for years. They must know where his lair lies. Sly Winkum was one of the mutineers. He has left his wicked days behind him and lives in Tumbleweed. Tell him El Toro sent you and he will help. A fierce take once that's done, speak with Raven Eyes, the tribal elder.
Fly Winkum. He's in the back room through there. Bronco's got a message for you, Weasel. You dirt farmers better learn your place and do as you're told, or else. Listen, we don't want any trouble. I don't know how affairs have reached such a bad state. Bad? You ain't seen bad, but it's coming. Hey, now who's this? Oh, I see. You thought you could ambush the Waco kid? Time to pay the piper. Boys, show them what happens when you mess with the wild bunch. I was just leaving. sent you. <laughs> sure, I'll talk to you. Just keep your voice down. El Toro sent you, you say? Ah, must be here to talk to me about Captain Blood. That was a long time ago, stranger. I'm a businessman now. Of course I know where Blood's hideout was, but telling you it's in Haunted Skyway isn't going to help. The way's blocked, thanks to the Wild Bunch. A viler band of outlaws and villains you will never find. The Bronco clan leads them, and they aim to drive all us settlers out. There's no stopping them. 
I know who could stop them. The seven could do it, sure as you're born. You ain't ever heard of the Magnificent Seven? They're the greatest band of heroes and lawmen that ever rode a skyway. Back when I was little, this skyway was no fit place for bird or beast. We're no law at all out here. <laughs> and the rangers wouldn't even show their faces. But that all changed when the Magnificent Seven came to town. They tamed this skyway and made it safe for us settlers. Wyatt Chirp was their leader, the greatest lawman Cool Ranch ever saw. After Wyatt cleaned up Cooper's roost with his fists, he gathered a band of heroes to follow him, each one a legend. There was Wild Bill Peacock. He was the best shot with a rifle there ever was. Except maybe for Miss Jane. That's Calamity Jane Canary to you. Jane can bullseye a silver dollar at 50 yards easy. There's Duck Holiday, the dapper deputy. They say Duck looks death in the face and laughs. And don't forget Buffalo Bill, stronger than an ox, meaner than a mountain lion. Then there's Bat Masterson. He's quiet as a shadow and a better tracker than a bloodhound. They say Bat's from Darkmoor, but his heart's in the right place. Last but not least, Billy the Kid. He was an outlaw to Wyatt showed him the error of his ways. He's fast, crazy fast, and a little crazy too. My pa told me all the stories. How the seven beat Guaco Mole and the Red Mole Gang, shot Saguaro Slim, caught Sam Bass, and rounded up all the Waltons. Nobody could stop him. The seven tamed the Savage Skyways for years, but then they went their separate ways. I guess some of them didn't get along. But now, Tumbleweed's been taken over by the Wild Bunch. They're bad, bad folks, but I bet the seven could whoop them without breaking a sweat. So you see, stranger, you should track down the seven. Duck Holiday still lives right here in Tumbleweed. You should go talk to him. 